Yo! Hi everybody, uh, this is AB. So, I just arrived here in New Newton. I think this is pronounced right. Uh, I don't have much time. I just need to stop quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna order the first thing I see. I know there's like a justice center here somewhere. But whether I have enough time to audit it properly, I don't know. Anyway. Now we all know how professional this uh, company is. So attack me, the justice center is just over there. So we've got nothing to worry about. We got them together chilling. Oh, why not? Just want to see how what's happening. What happens to my mail? What happens to your mail? Yeah. Huh? Golden Arcadia, it's well looked after. Really? Yeah. Don't look like as it is now you. Have you ever got your have you ever got your letters squashed? Looked after? I know we can do you for this, you know, you shouldn't be doing that. You can do me for this? Yeah. How are you gonna do me? <laughs> how are you gonna do me man? Let me take your picture. Sorry? Then I'll tell you how I'm You can take picture if you like. Oh. Start taking pictures unless it's authorized by them. By who? Somebody will say, you know, I'm just telling you. Even we are not allowed yet. We oh, have right. to work for them. Even we are not allowed. Really? Yeah. No, Why? Honestly. That's the, that's the policy. All right. You see, but we're saying you because we feel like saying you. We're just trying to let you know what the rules oh, are. Okay. I understand it's your policy. No, not my policy. Royal Mail. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I don't work for Royal Mail. I don't have to like. Uh... Okay, fine. Oh, I have no issues with you. I'm just checking my my mail. That's it. You said this looked after. But I can see boxes on the floor and you know. They're all empty. The ones you are seeing. Ah. They're all empty. Okay. Well, thank you very much. The mail is always never in the boxes. The mail is in the bags. Yeah. You can see all the bags are packed. Them bags over there. Yeah, empty. They look like someone's duty to come and pick them. No, no, I mean the bags on the left. They are. Which comes in their car and drop it. That is a drop off. Right, okay. So they will drop there, and one of them drivers, they will have a duty, they will bring in their trolley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they will pick them up. I see. Okay. So, uh, in come the. Let me show you. Come, 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 come. Come, come. let's go. Come here. Show me. Can you see anything <laughs> un untidy? No. That, that looks tidy, my friend. That looks very tidy. Is that yeah. your lorry? Yeah, that's my lorry. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Most of the mail out of there will, that's the way it will come. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Good. So I'm glad you've explained that to me, you see? Now, now Royal Mail will give you a pay rise. No, no, no. They of course they will. I wish they would. <laughs> they won't give me pay rise. But the only thing is that, them bags that they could be, they could, somebody could nick them. No, this is why I'm here. This is why you're here. Because part of my job is security as well. My friend. Yeah, you will see me not going inside. Yeah, I'll yeah. be here all the time. Yeah. I cannot leave that mail un un unattended. Unattended. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. What did I say? You, you have an answer to everything. Come and pick them up. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just happened. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well done. That's it. What part of the world are you from? What part of the world? Uh, because your accent is a bit, uh, I don't know. Go on. Spain? No. Portugal? No. Okay, you tell me. Uh, originally, I come from Asgard. From? Asgard. Where is this? I've never heard of it. Uh, it's, it's quite far. What, you, what about you? Do you have a, a background or...? I have a background. I'm, I'm, I'm a Pakistani. Pakistani background? But, but I was born and bred in Kenya, Nairobi. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, by religion, I'm Muslim. Born and bred in Kenya. Originally from pa originally my, my, my grandfather went from Pakistan to Kenya in 1912 when the railway line was being built. At that time the, it was under the British Raj. Oh right, okay. So that's, that's a bit of history yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Have you ever been to Pakistan or? Oh yeah. Oh you do visit Pakistan oh, a moment. Yeah, I do yeah, visit yeah. Pakistan every now and then. And you said you're Muslim, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Well you've done right mail prior today, I can tell you that. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Okay, okay. Have a nice evening. Yeah. <laughs> wow. See? Some people are just amazing. 
<laughs> it doesn't matter how much I try to knock him down, but somehow he hit back. Now this guy is special, trust me. That's the kind of people we need. What's up? That. Oh, oh, I... Just one, two. Oh, okay. You're okay. Who are you? I'm oh. Don't run me over. Thank you. You know that's in the fence. You ain't you ain't in charge of a vehicle. You know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's uh, there's new laws about phones now. Uh, while you're in charge of a vehicle driving, well, while you're driving, which she was, you're not actually allowed to touch a phone anymore. Apparently, they updated the act. Uh, before you could, you could take a picture, you could uh, or grab your phone, you could just... And now you cannot, you can't even touch it. So she just committed an offence. And I believe that's six points and a £200 fine, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether we got her registration or not, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, sorry guys for not being able to audit the Justice Centre properly. Uh, like I said at the start, I was uh, really pressed for time on that day. Uh, I can always go back some other time and uh, redo it uh, properly. Anyway, uh, so I used my powers and uh, teleported to Newbury uh, to a place where, well, it was a on a different day, to be honest. Yeah, a place that I've uh, audited before, uh, the Royal Mail. Uh, I mean, I'll leave, you, I'll leave you a link in the description. You can watch the video and uh, a little bit of a reminder. Anyway, I'll leave you with the video. Enjoy. Now that doesn't look good. Look at that. Just filthy, man. Absolutely filthy. There's boxes everywhere and look at this. Elastic bands. But yeah, I guess that's now that's bad. Look at that. That's an MOT failure, hundred percent. Yeah yeah, it's post office mate, you can't film it. Eh? What do you mean? Yeah, don't film, man. What are you doing? Just all this rubbish. All right, mate. Yeah, what's, what's the problem? Is there like a manager around? Yeah. Yeah. Who is it? Are you? Who with you? Because I use your service. I use your service. If I if I feel like one of my parcels came out of this depot, I don't even want to touch it. Okay. It's filthy, man. Your staff are just drinking coffee. They were smoking and just throwing stuff on the floor. It's an embarrassment. Who with you? Because I use your service. I use your service. If I if I feel like one of my parcels came out of this depot, I don't even want to touch it. Okay. It's filthy, man. Your staff are just drinking coffee. They were smoking and just throwing stuff on the floor. It's an embarrassment. So this is just a quick uh, little check at Newbury uh, First Office. See if the... Oh, look at that. They cleaned up. Oh, and I think that's the van. Oh, look, look. Hang on. Wow, they've changed the... It looks like they changed the tire too. Uh, 
They still haven't fixed the sign, but we let them off of that. Looking very clean. Not bad, huh? All well, these are empty. Look at that. Before, all this was full of rubbish. Rubbish. So clean. Amazing. Ah, I'm impressed. All right, let's climb up. They even hide a skip. <laughs> Well done. See, we're making a difference, guys. Anyway, I'm just here. Uh, I'm not staying here too long. I need to get out of here. So, a big well done to our post office in Newbury. Baby, out.